Northern Ireland Professional Wrestling's rising young star, the Canary Kid, be with us live next week. He's uh, a very inspired by Sean Waltman in the X-Pac, as he said, and we'll talk about that. And we're going to talk about his young career. And he's just so good, you guys. He is so good. So um, at this young age, to be doing what he's doing and, and how good he is, I think you guys are really going to like it. So that's what we're going to start with. And I got other organizations as well. Here I got about three, three of them now that I've gotten in touch with here in the United States that I'm going to be bringing them in and some of their kids. And that's what Forward's all about. It's going to be about the future of kids in wrestling today. I, I, I want to say kids pro wrestling, but I don't think they call it that. I think they're calling it juniors. Junior pro wrestling is what they refer to it as in most places. You know, so, I mean, you're seeing these, these wrestlers now. Now, back in the day, when I saw Sean Waltman, yep. I didn't think too much of him. Right. You know, I don't think any of us did. Mm -hmm. Didn't know who he didn't know he's going to be a big star. And now he's a WWE Hall of Famer, two-time Hall of Famer. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, and to be honest, when he, I've heard this story from Crusher a few times. When Sean Waltman first moved to Minnesota, he had Slick Steenerson on speed dial, trying to get Slick to let him come. In. Come to Ramsey to use the ring. Wanted to use our NWF ring to practice. Let's think. We didn't know he was going to be a big star, though. But look at we're looking at this young kid here, Ricky Henry. He might be the next Sean Waltman, for all we know. So like, he's good enough, I'll tell you that. So we're going to talk to him. But that's what this forward show is all about. We're going to talk and showcase kids all around the world, really, that are doing this and um, kind of getting involved in what we did back in the day, only – this is current stuff. This is what's happening today. And not exactly. only are we going to, not only are we going to showcase the kids like, like him, or I call him a kid, but he's a teenager. Uh, but we're also going to be talking to the, the league promoters. A lot of these are indie feds that are doing this. And so we're going to talk to them and how they're training them and what their program's all about. And you know something, you guys, they do it for karate. They start karate out at six years old. They do it for boxing. Why not professional wrestling? You know, if they would have had this when I was a kid, Dave, I would have been in it so fast it would have made your head spin. You know, but we had to self train ourselves. You know, we didn't oh, have yeah. a we didn't a have a, a, we, had money. we didn't have an academy we could go to to get trained like these guys can now. So um, exactly, I mean, yeah, I mean, our training was you went and hung out with Eddie, got tips from Eddie, and you'd bring them back to us. Yeah, once Eddie, once we caught, and the only reason we caught Eddie Sharkey's attention was because we drew 300 fans at the Armory. You know, because we did that, that caught his attention, and he was interested. If, if that didn't happen, Eddie yep. wouldn't have been interested at all. So it's like, in those days, if you went to a wrestling trainer in those days and said, hey, I want to become a wrestler, and you're 14 years old, they'd say, come back here, kid, when you're an adult. Come back when you're over 200 pounds, and we'll talk. You know? It just so was a different time. We could draw. Because we could draw, he was willing to talk to us. Yeah, that really was what it is. But I don't I'm not I don't want Ricky Henry and these guys to think we're talking down to look, I am glad you guys have proper places you can go to get trained and learn it right. And it, look, it's a benefit for them. It's a benefit, Dave, because look, mm -hmm. he was four, he was fourteen when he started. I was fourteen when I started NWF. He's fifteen now. Where he's at at 15 and where I was at at 15, he is miles ahead of us. Miles. So yep. good for him. And we're gonna, I'm going to talk to them all about that stuff next week. So I'm looking forward to